This is my Galaxy A7 tablet. It's a 32 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte model. And a few months ago, or maybe like half a year ago, they enabled apps to SD. And everything seemed okay until I started getting comments from other users mentioning it didn't actually work for some of the apps. And so today I'm gonna show you. I have filled my uh, tablet with a bunch of apps and here's my SD card, and I'm gonna show you from 30 gigabytes after moving all the apps, how much storage I have left. Um, and so I believe the same problem it happens on the newer model, the A8. So if you're thinking about getting an A8, I would definitely suggest maybe getting the 64 gigabyte model or 128 gigabyte model of the A8. There's also another reason for doing that because that model actually has more RAM. Instead of three gigabytes of RAM, it comes with four gigabytes of RAM. But enough of me talking. Let me actually show you what happens. I'm going to go to settings and then go to um, apps. And the bad thing about this is I can't even just do one button click and move all my apps to SD on the Fire tablet that I have. They have a one button option to move everything to the SD card. This doesn't. I have to go through each app so I'm on Among Us right now, and I'm going to go to storage, and I'm going to change it from internal to SD card, and move. So again, I said I'm going to transfer all the apps over, and I'll show you how much storage I have, because I was already at, at the maximum, pretty much. I was at 30 gigabytes. Um, and I'll explain something more while I'm doing this. The thing is, when it transfers over, it doesn't transfer over uh, certain certain files, and so, or what I think, because I, you know, there's no way for me to know for sure, because I'm not a huge techie person. So we're still waiting for this to finish. Okay, and the bad thing is it just closes it after it's done. It's not really like clean. Uh, so after doing that, I'll show you again. It's still at 30 gigabytes and three gigabytes over here, okay? And just to make sure you can click on it. So it did increase the SD card size a little bit. So I need to do that for each and every one. So I'm going to go to apps again. This is very tedious uh, and there's no option to do it for future apps. So there's 551 megabytes, right? Let's go do that. Storage. So the one thing I want to mention is for both data and cache, those can get really big over time. I think for the Android 11 and this, this Samsung A7 and possibly the A8, it won't transfer over data and cache, and those can get really big. In this case, I'm lucky the app is the big thing over here, and I'm going to change to SD card. And again, remember, or I'll remember for you, I was at 3.3 gigabytes for the SD card and my internal is around 30 gigabytes. So I'm hoping it should be like 29.5 internal and then uh, three, uh, I mean 3.3, .3, so 3.9 or something. So in this case, it finished fine. It's still in the apps section. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it for the rest of my apps. I have one, this big racing, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. Whoops, sorry. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen more apps to do. So it's going to take a while. I don't want to put you through the pain of, of that. I'm going to go back to file manager okay, over here and. Let's see if it updated. So of the 500 megabytes, only 10, 10, 100 megabytes got transferred over. 
and likewise over here it it isn't really transferring over everything so that's what a lot of uh, users have been commenting about the a a7 when you transfer apps to sd sometimes it's not even transferring the whole application it's transferring just a small portion in my case i just transferred over a 500 megabyte application and only 100 megabytes got transferred over so let me finish this for you. I have 16 apps to do. I'll go do that right now. It's going to take take a while. It's what, 1131 right now? And I'll come back. I'll let you know how long it takes. Okay, I finished transferring over. So that's great. I'm going to go over here and now see what it was like. So it hasn't updated yet. I'm going to click on it once. You can see after transferring 16 to 17 apps, it only transferred about a gigabyte. Yep. Was it a gigabyte? No, no, it didn't transfer a gigabyte. It was at 30 and it went down to 27. It transferred three gigabytes or four. And over here, um, SD card was at like 3.3 .3 or something. 3.4, now it's at seven gigabytes. So you can see, it, mine was already full and after transferring all those things, it only transferred a few gigabytes, three plus gigabytes of storage. So what's the lesson I've learned? Never buy a 32 gigabyte model. And so again, if you're looking into get in, getting an A7 or A8 tablet and you're going like, oh, it has an SD card, great get at least the 64 gigabyte because you can see in my test over here after transferring easily 18 17 to 18 apps it only transferred over a few gigabytes of storage and that's what i'm gonna live by